Howdy folks, TJ here. Today I'm going to do kind of my own little real world test of my MacBook Pro 2014 that I've had since 2014 with my new Mac Pro 2013 nuclear reactor in the back. I thought it'd be time to kind of do a test. I'm still on iMovie. I don't have uh, the money at the moment to get uh, Final Cut Pro, but maybe one day. For now, I wanted to see, hey, I've got this new speed demon of a computer, uh, at least back then, and uh, will it do at least something faster for me in terms of rendering a video? So most of my videos that I do on YouTube, I only do at 720p, at medium setting, when I do the export. Reason for that is because I'm on crappy internet. I'm on Hughes Satellite. It's like two tin cans with a string in the middle. Come on, get the data over there. No, I can't get it. Back and forth. It's really bad. But that's all I get up here in the mountains of California. That's my option. So when I upload my videos to my YouTube channel, it takes hours. So a roughly 100, uh, yeah, I, 100 megabits, blah, blah. What am I trying to say here? 900 megabyte file. That's pretty common for my site. Eight hours of upload time. Most people would probably... Yeah, they wouldn't handle it. <laughs> but I have to be patient, and I do. So, something that's speedy would be nice. Or at least maybe if I render my videos and it takes a, a minute or so quicker. Hey, I did something faster. <laughs> kind of silly. But anyway, um, yeah. So, I'm going to do this one at 1080p. I'm going to step it up a notch. And just kind of see... I've got a, a, a roughly 15 minute video and it's the unboxing video for my Mac Pro. I'm going to set a little timer and I'm going to start both of these off rendering the same video. And I, by the way, transferring a dang simple iMovie to another computer, what a pain in the ass. They don't make it as simple as export and then import it to another thing. They've got an iOS import option, but no, they can't just make a regular simple iMovie to iMovie option. At least that I, I couldn't find. So um, let's go ahead and file, and I'll move in on this closer here in a second when I start. I just want to get this part done. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll move it in a little closer. So you can kind of see both screens a bit, at least the top part here. All right. So you'll see MacBook Mac Pro 2013 unboxing. I've got it set for 1080p, if you can actually see that. High. Well, I'm going to step it up a notch. I'm going high this time. Woo! And go to the next. And let's just put the word test at the end. Going to do the same thing on my Mac Pro. Uh, so file, share, down to file, 1080p, high. Next, so it looks like it's going to be over 2 gigabyte, 2.24 gigabyte in size. That would take me about 24 hours to upload. <laughs> Test. I can't wait to get real internet one day. Okay, so, uh, uh, I've got, uh, yeah, everything ready. So I'm going to just start this timer a little prematurely up here, because <laughs> trying to click on everything at once. So let's see if I can get this save, save. Okay, both started at the same time. Oh, my clock, I didn't start it. Oh, I didn't start it, it's up there. All right, go. Cool. Maybe I should move this window a little bit. So we could chew a couple of seconds off. <coughs> so, we'll see. And I'm not going to, I'm going to edit this out here, but uh, got them both started, both 1080p. What will happen? Will the Mac Pro win? Will it stink and be the same? And I'm going to give you a little heads up. So I, I did this already, but I did it. Like I said, I was having a problem moving the stupid iMovie uh, file over. So I put it on a... Um, SD card on a USB stick that I connected to it and the MacBook Pro beat the Mac Pro 
Mac Pro, though, is writing and reading from the SD card, which is quite slow. So I'm hoping that anomaly is that um, now running this test, the Mac Pro better damn win. If not, I just spent a lot of money on getting no extra time. <laughs> Although that wasn't the main purchase reason I purchased it. But it would be kind of nice to say, yeah, this thing screamed when it was rendering. Right now, it's kind of funny. They're both about the dang same in the little pizza pie slice. This test may end up being exactly the same as my other one, where the Mac Pro was writing and reading to an SD card, which I thought would be a bottleneck. Interesting. Mm. So I'm going to stop the video and come back on when they're both getting close. You know what? It's quite possible that this MacBook Pro may want to get, win again. If that's the case, wow. Wow. Started the video back up. And it looks like the MacBook Pro is going to win again. Very interesting. MacBook Pro still kicking butt after all these years. Getting close to 10 minutes. And this appears to have done about the same uh, as when I used my SD card externally on the Mac Pro. And I thought putting everything on the uh, SD card, the internal hard drive or internal SSD would uh, make things speedier, but it's not. Look at that pizza slice up here. Still got some chunk left. This one's almost done. Dun, 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 dun. I guess I could have clicked the, button, the record button a little later. I thought it was getting close, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> but we'll let it go here. I'm not going to stop it again and start it again. So I'll just yap here for a second about MacBook Pro versus Mac Pro. Okay, so the little pizza slice is gone on the Mac Pro. Shortly a little window should pop up saying, hey buddy, I'm done. Oh, gonna wake up. It's taking so long that my uh, screen's going to sleep. Come on, computer, you can do it. Okay, share successful. So I'll just say 10 and a half minutes for the Mac Pro. So it's actually faster. And while it's doing that, let's go ahead and uh, go up to about this Mac. So you'll see that this is an i5 CPU, 2.6 gigahertz, dual core i5, beat this computer that at least on a single core should be 2.7 speed I should say gigahertz yet it's slower and it's still going I can probably kinda of see why some pros weren't too impressed <laughs> I still like the computer and I know if you get the proper applications that take advantage of it but still just a commoner like me thinking okay 2.7 gigahertz with the supposed 3.5 gigahertz uh, super thrust or whatever they call it. I'm forgetting the name already. Um, yeah, I won't worry about it. Versus a 2.6 gigahertz. So technically, I would think this should still be faster by a little bit, even if it's only using one of those um, cores. Still not done. So now we're a minute and a half longer. Shortly, it should pop up saying that you're done. But in a nutshell, it looks like uh, the Mac Pro is two minutes slower. There you go. Here's the little note. So I'll stop her there. So let me pan out here. So you can see the frown on my face.
Okay, so real world test. You're gonna see it just like I saw it with a little editing so it doesn't take as long. But to me, like I said, a commoner, just a dude buying it. I would have expected, even if iMovie's not um, made specifically to be speedier on multi-cores or whatever, it should have still performed faster, I would think. 2.7 gigahertz versus 2.6. Completely more powerful. It should be CPU. Yet, this little sucker, MacBook Pro 2014, beat it by two minutes. That's why I still have this computer. Still works pretty well. I still like my new thermonuclear computer over here, a little nuclear reactor, but you know, I gotta say, it it got its ass just kicked. There you go. So when I buy a better program, Final Cut Pro, maybe rendering a 1080p video will take advantage of all the cores and it'll be super quick, much quicker than 12 minutes to do that. Time will tell. When I buy the program, I'll run another test, make another video so you can all see it. But on this one, MacBook Pro kicked its ass. There you go. Thanks for watching. See ya.